Yet again, I have another fake console here from Amazon, and this time it is the 20 pounds Nintendo Entertainment System that they have so obviously copied here. But I thought I'd grab it, show you what's in the box, and if it actually works, and if it actually replicates the old school games such as Mario uh, and stuff like that. So here's the box that it comes uh, with. Nothing special really, this one's been a bit dented in the, uh, in the post, but apparently it comes with 620 built-in games such as Super Mario, Contra, Beaky Cuneo series and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series as well. So that's, that's definitely a good start. Um, I'm a big fan of Ninja Turtles and Super Mario, so this should be interesting to see uh, if it actually plays correctly. So the box, nothing special as you can see here, but the controllers are definitely similar. Very, very light, almost to a certain extent where I don't know if there's anything inside of it. That is very light indeed. Um, we've got some connectors there. So you do get two controllers, which is quite nice. I like that they've added that. So hopefully there's uh, two player capabilities. You get your TV cable here, your AV cable, um, which I don't think it comes with a HDMI adapter. So there is mini USB to power it. And that's not a UK adapter. Maybe there's one in here. I highly doubt it. And where is the console itself? Okay, here's the console. No UK adapter, so take that into consideration if you are a UK fan who's watching. So here's the console itself. Um, a lot smaller, uh, which I guess is nice. Very light. In the back you have your AV out for your AV cable here, and then your power in as well. Um, it's kept the design quite similar. I do like it. This doesn't open, obviously. The buttons on the front are spring-loaded. And then you've got two connectors here for player one and player two. So like that is very light. Like I'd like to see what's inside of it. Should we have a look what's inside? Let's have a look what's inside actually. I'll see if I can get my toolkit and we'll, uh, we'll take a peek. Yeah, there's no way I can get to that. I need a super long screw, which this isn't. Um, so unfortunately I can't get into that, but what I'll do now is I'll hook it up to the TV and we'll see uh, if it actually plays the original uh, Nintendo games, or if they're just the, the rubbish uh, fake games that we see in a lot of replicas like this. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so I have started it up and I've been messing around for about 45 minutes now and I just can't seem to get color through this console onto my screen. I even looked at forums, I went into their manual, I even tried different AV cables, but I'm not getting any color through this whatsoever and all of the connections are in the correct port uh, i've done what their manual has said i've even looked into like their reviews and that and nobody's had this problem so i'm not sure if this is just a dodgy console but heck it like if this isn't going to play color and i've already bought it um this isn't really going to be a good review but if we put the color to the side a minute let's take a look at some of the games you have contra uh, Robocop and without doubt there's definitely not 620 games in here there is but a lot of them are replicas and admittedly from what I've seen you have a couple of legit ones like the Ninja Turtles um, Contra um, I can't see a Super Mario yet um, which I don't think is on here it might be um, and, it, and the controls are pretty simple. You just go up and down the menu. If you want to skip 50 forward, you press A. If you want to skip 50 back, you press B. And then if you want to play a game, um, you just basically press start. So let's go on Bomberman, for example. Um, I didn't even pick Bomberman. So now I have to go over to the console here, which you can't see, and click reset, and it will reset and go back to the menu. Then i got to go down and find it. But... I think, wait, did I see Super Mario? Did I see Super Mario then? Maybe I didn't, maybe I was just seeing things. Um, Spider-Man 1, is that legit? Come on, let's try that. So you press start. Um, let's play. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So, oh God, how do I? So I just have to dodge these, I guess like response speed on the controller is fine as well um so it doesn't seem like that's a problem um 
If I turn on the audio here as well, you should be able to hear the soundtrack. If I play it. So yeah, the feedback on the controller is quite nice. Um, it's somewhat comfortable. The, the response speed is quick. Um, what I couldn't see though as well is I couldn't see Zelda on here, which is a little disappointing. Um, so they've definitely got rid of that. Maybe for, I don't know, legal reasons. Probably because they can't. Um, but it seems we're at Pikachu. What the hell is that? Let's take a peek at that. It's probably that classic fake Pikachu game that we... What the hell? So this is like a Pikachu version of... What the... Oh no, oh no. Okay, well, I screwed that up. So yeah, that's uh, Pikachu Tetris, which is kind of awful. But you know, like, without color, this is kind of depressing. Um, and it's definitely a problem with my console, I think. Um, so it might be okay for you guys, but like this is my unit that I'm reviewing, so this is definitely a no-go. Um, and I can't see Zelda. Like I've looked for Zelda, but there's just no Zelda whatsoever. And I can't even see a Super Mario. And they even said that on the box. Okay, so I've just noticed that there is a manual here with all of the games on. Um, so I'll try and find Super Mario. Okay, so there's Super Mario. Found you. Let's uh, give him a go and see if this is legit. That looks somewhat legit, actually. And like, without color, this is actually making me sick. I want color badly, but nope. I had to buy a broken, uh, had to buy a broken console. And I don't know if you can see, where I've had that menu on for so long, it's actually staying on my screen now as well. That's probably my TV. I'm hoping it's my TV. That can't be. I don't know, actually. That might be the... Oh, crap. Jesus, these guys are good. Jeez. More combat here. Kicking my ass. So as you guys saw there, there was no color coming out of the console through the provided AV cable, which was very disappointing. I thought perhaps it was a dodgy AV cable, so I got another one and that didn't work neither. So either this is a broken console or this is what they ship out to people um, and if that's the case, this is definitely something to stay away from. Now, I looked in reviews and stuff and nobody had the same problem. So I do think it's a dodgy uh, console, but I'm going to review it as if this is what they send out to their average customer, because that's what I am, basically. So straight out of the box, like the reset power buttons around the wrong way. The cables are kind of different. And for some reason, uh, the player one port was on the right hand side here. And although they've kind of gone through the same design, it definitely doesn't look anywhere near identical. But... Obviously, they're going to have to stay away from that because of lawsuits. The controller is actually quite nice, even though it was fairly light. Um, I got used to it quite quickly, and it resembled the original uh, quite closely for the price range. So I was actually quite happy with the controller, and it does look kind of cool as well. Um, so furthermore, uh, if you buy it in the UK or Europe, you're going to have to go out and buy an adapter as well, which I know a few of you probably won't have around, so that's another cost that will come with buying uh, this product as well which is another downfall and the main downfall obviously is the color there was no color coming through the cable uh, and also the selection of games they said they had 620 which they did um, but a handful of them were legit uh, a few of them were copies by a few I reckon you probably pull out 50 to 100 which were like replicas of other games in in that library um, so I reckon maybe about 300 games are actually like legit like actual proper games that uh, uh, you can play and that aren't replicas, etc. But they did have Contra, they had uh, Ninja Turtles, Super Mario, which were all legit, but the rest uh, were either legit or they were fakes. And in, by fakes, I mean they were just random games that someone's made that they've just chucked into the console. So overall, 
Like, I've had a play around. It's fun. It would have been worth £20 if uh, it had colour and if it had a handful of uh, legit games on there extra as well. Um, so definitely, guys, do not buy this. I, I was very disappointed. £20 out of pocket now. Like, they've kind of gone for the nice design. I dig this design. It looks very, like, miniature version of the NES, which I dig. Um, but overall, black and white, terrible games, uh, and just... Uh, I had to get an adapter as well. So stay away from this, guys. There is a link below if you actually want to look at it and you want to kind of risk uh, to see if you actually get a decent uh, version of this which can uh, play colored games. But yeah, guys, there's one retro fake console to stay away from. Hope you enjoyed this video. I have a couple more coming up. So definitely hit subscribe and follow me on Twitter if you want to see like live updates of all of this happening. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.